Ty Cobb is not just one of the greatest players in the history of the Detroit Tigers. He is one of the greatest players in the history of baseball. I'm going to talk about how Cobb's production ranks in terms of Tigers history, but I'm also going to talk about how his production ranks in terms of all of baseball history. On this slide, these seasons are between both the AL and the NL. And also, if something says top four or top anything, that means Cobb was tied with one or more players for that particular ranking. So pretty much right off the bat, we can see that Cobb was a beast. Cobb's 11 seasons of leading baseball in batting average are first his eight seasons leading baseball and hits are also first his eight seasons leading baseball and slugging are top four his 10 seasons leading baseball and ops are top four as well his seven seasons leading baseball in on base percentage are top six his six seasons leading baseball in stolen bases are top nine and his six seasons leading baseball in total bases are top seven on this slide, everything is since 1904, not anything prior. But we already saw that Cobb was a very productive player. But in terms of where he ranks in these particular categories, it just adds to how great of a player he was. His 366 batting average is first in the history of baseball. Now, most of this stuff is since 1904, but that 366 batting average is just first in the history of baseball, period. Now, I should also note that baseball has changed a lot since Ty Cobb was playing, but it's still an impressive record nonetheless. His 4,189 hits are second. He had 724 doubles, which is fourth, and his 295 triples are first. He ranks eighth in RBI with 1,944, second in runs with 2,245, his 897 stolen bases rank third, and his 5,854 total bases rank sixth. It's also worth noting that his 117 home runs ranked top 14 when he retired. Now, in terms of just the types of seasons that Cobb had, all of this is since 1904 again, unless I state otherwise. With a minimum of 100 plate appearances in said seasons, his 16 seasons with a 350 or better batting average are first in baseball history. His three seasons of batting 400 or better are top two. His 21 seasons with a 450 or better slugging percentage are first. His 10 seasons with a 450 or better on base percentage are third. And his eight seasons with a 100 plus OPS are top 11 in the history of baseball. Now with the next three season types that I'm going to be going over, I did not put any minimum plate appearance requirements. Cobb's nine seasons with 200 or more hits ranked third in the history of baseball. His four seasons with 200 plus hits and 100 plus RBI are top 14 in the history of baseball. It's also worth noting that his 419 batting average in 1911 is eighth. Now that is another one that does not go back just to 1904. That is the eighth best batting average in a season since 1876. Baseball Reference has a minimum plate appearance requirement of 3.1 plate appearances per game for that particular category. Generally speaking, this channel is a Detroit sports channel, so that's why I want to talk about Cobb's career, particularly with the Tigers. So all this production on this slide is strictly during his time with the Tigers. And all of the rankings are strictly in terms of Tigers history. He did not play his last two seasons with Detroit. Cobb's 368 batting average during his time with the Tigers is first. His 434 on base percentage is first. His 516 slugging percentage is fifth. His 950 OPS is second. His 3,900 hits are first. And he ranks first. First in Tigers history in singles, doubles, and triples. He ranks first in RBI in Tigers history with 1,811. First in runs with 2,087. First in stolen bases. First in total bases. So yeah, Cobb just almost breaks the Tigers leaderboards. 
In terms of his notable seasons with the Tigers, his three seasons batting 400 or better are first in Tigers history. His 13 seasons with a 500 or better slugging percentage are first. His 10 seasons with a 450 on base percentage are first. And his eight seasons with a 100 or better OPS are first. And it's also worth noting that his three 200 hit, 100 RBI, and 100 run seasons are top four in Tigers history. In terms of some notable games that Cobb had, his 13 games with five or more hits our first, his 14 games with five or more RBI are fourth, his 97 games with a perfect batting average are second, his 17 three hit, three RBI and three run games are top three, his two four hit, four RBI and four run games are top two. Cobb had 16 total bases in a game and that ranks first in the history of the Detroit Tigers. Now in terms of Cobb's accolades. He was a one-time MVP, a one-time Triple Crown, and he led the American League in batting average 12 times. Now earlier in the video I said he led all baseball 11 times. That was including both leagues, but his 12 batting titles are just strictly in terms of the AL. When Cobb won his MVP, he led baseball in all the categories that I have listed. With 148 runs, 248 hits, 127 RBI, 83 stolen bases, a 419 batting average, a 620 slugging percentage, a 1.086 OPS, and he had 367 total bases. When he had a triple crown, he led baseball in batting average with a 377, home runs with 9, and 107 RBI. Now with his 9 home runs, that just shows you how much the game of baseball has changed since Cobb played. I didn't really spend any time in this video talking about Cobb outside of baseball. I'm fully aware that he supposedly was not a very good human being, so I'll just link one or two articles in the description for you, the viewer, to judge his character. But in this video, I more wanted to talk about him as the player. He was a great baseball player, and there's pretty much nothing that would lead me to believe otherwise. Cobb never won a World Series. He did see a noticeable decline in certain categories during the three World Series that he participated in. But it's not enough to take away from the fact that Cobb was good at his sport. So that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.